We have a webinar tomorrow for the tick count trend trading system and all the different metrics that you can use for the tick. Not only does the New York Stock Exchange, not only does the NYSE have a tick, but the Dow also has a tick as well as 16 other. You see right here, here's the, the hash tick. And this, this indicator right here represents yesterday's trade for the NYSE tick. And right here you see the Dow tick, Dow net tick, and what it represents here. And the Dow Jones only has 30 stocks in it, while the uh, NYSE tick is looking at 3,700 stocks. And so yesterday it was, it was a more clear red signal if you use the plus or minus uh, threshold of 3. Um, on the on the uh, Dow tick, you could you could test different thresholds. I'm I've just started testing different symbols, and on the tick count trend, it took three trades yesterday, three nice short trades. It was clearly a down day, um, but our our default settings didn't really show that it was bearish until late in the day, and so it, it still didn't take any trades if you use the NYSE tick. And this this represents the um, Dow tick version, but there's 16. There's 16 different versions of tick, and you take a look at them here um, in in the kinetic data feed. And we're gonna look at those tomorrow and setting those up. How you set those up in your platform in NinjaTrader, and um, some of the different settings. You could trade different indexes and different tick symbols. We also have this available, and we're also gonna take a look at in TradeStation, uh, looking at the E-mini Dow futures yesterday, for example. Had we used the Dow tick composite with a plus or minus three value you would have had uh, two trades yesterday and here's what it, it would have done over the past year uh, a little bit different version of tick count trend 3275 850 drawdown only 65 trades uh, 50 dollars average trade profit uh, this is before slippage and commission and so that's that's the update on what we're going to be talking about tomorrow as you can see this tick count trend dynamic still has the old thresholds in it if I put in the plus or minus three values, then we'll get a more updated version of what it should look like. And so sign up tomorrow at the at the end of this webinar or above or below this, this video. Um, at the end of this video, actually, I'm going to hyperlink you to it. You can sign up for Advanced Account Trend Trading Systems. And we're going to go over the market metrics, uh, show you real quick how you do it in TradeStation. Uh, if you look up the different tick symbols, you go under index and you type in tick. And you can have different tick symbols here as well. And as well as uh, Russell weighted, Russell cumulative, Russell 2000 tick, S&P 500 tick, S&P mid cap 400 tick. See a little bit different version of the tick symbols in different platforms and how that can affect the tick count trend trading system, which is a unique system that... Um, determines the trend of the day based on the tick symbol and not the actual price and so very excited sign up at the end of this at the end of this video